everybody. I wanted to come to you today for a few minutes. I just got back from exercising and I think that's important. We'll talk about that in a future post. But right now I wanted to talk about what we seem to wear most. And I think if I did a survey and I asked what's the one thing you wear the most often, I think jeans come up more than anything. But so many women message me saying I have the hardest time finding a pair of jeans that I like. And I agree, finding the jeans that you like is hard. For one thing, the, the fit, it has to fit great. Otherwise, you know, it just makes you look off. If the pockets are too high, if the pockets are too low, if the waist hits you in the wrong spot, you have a muffin top. So there's a lot that goes into finding the perfect pair of jeans. And so we have to, <laughs> we have to go through a whole bunch until we find the style we like. But overall, there are a few styles, and that's what I wanted to talk about today, that are perfect or more flattering, I think, for our body style, as our body shape as we get older. Things shift, things move, and um, what we look for changes. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today is what is what is the best pair of jeans for a woman over 50? So for me, I think a higher rise or at least a mid rise jean is the most flattering. They elongate your legs, they give you a smoother silhouette, they just make you look taller and slimmer. So that's always something I go for uh, first. Secondly, would be a straight leg or a wide leg. Uh, a boot cut is basically the same thing as a straight cut, straight leg, and so that kind of goes in the same category. But a skinny pair of jeans, so a skinny jean makes your legs go almost in a, in a V, and that leaves your body proportion off. And when you wear knee boots, that helps. It makes your legs look fuller at the bottom, so that helps. So that's why you'll see a lot of people wear the skinny jeans. Now, what a skinny jean works for is people who have um, thinner shoulders. That works better than if you already have a broad shoulder, then you don't want a small bottom. So you want something that makes you proportioned, and that's where the flare jeans, not the bell bottoms, not the big huge flares, but just a slight flare jean, uh, a wide leg jean, and at the very least, a straight leg jean will make you look more balanced and proportioned. So when we're talking jeans, there are what I, I break them up into basically two categories. You have your classic jeans that are timeless, they're universal, you're universal and you can wear them pretty much all the time. They may not be the latest in style pair of jeans, but they're never out of style either. And those you can wear all the time, or you have your trendy jeans. Those are the ones that's the hottest one of the moment, but in a year or two, maybe even three, all of a sudden they're no longer popular. And so you have to be aware of that when you buy that. Now you'd kind of need both in your in your closet if you want to look modern. So that's the thing of it. When we get older, we don't want to look just like we're dated. We don't want to be that frumpy look, that dated look. We want to look modern, we want to look relevant, but we don't want to look like we're trying too hard. So let's start first with classic jeans. So these are the jeans uh, that you can wear all the time. And that would be a straight leg jean, particularly in a dark wash. A dark wash is the most dressy of washes. Next would be like a wide leg jean in a medium wash. So those are the two color washes I wear most. I'd say I usually go for a medium wash over any other color. I like the dark wash when I'm going dressy occasions, you know, if, if you can call jeans dressy, but there are a pair 
that, um, you know, trouser jeans look very dressy and there's certain occasions that you can wear jeans for a dress occasion. Go with a dark wash. Medium wash works for anything. It goes all the time. It goes for casual, it goes for a little dressy. Those work great. If you're looking at a light wash, those are more casual. But I do wear light wash jeans more in the summer. I like them in spring and summer. So don't, don't discard them all together. But straight leg jeans in a dark wash, wide leg jeans in a medium wash, high-waisted jeans in the classic blue. They're a little more blue than the medium wash. And boyfriend jeans in a dark wash. Now, those are all classic jeans that you can wear at any time. Um, boyfriend jeans just are a little looser through the hips, through the thighs, um, and they just don't make you feel like you're as confined, whereas some of the other jeans might make you feel a little more um, held in. Now, with the flare jeans in particular, they are made to wear with high heels, boots, platform shoes. That's their back like from the 70s. So you will might have a hard time finding them in the length you want if you cannot wear those type of shoes. I know a lot of ladies, as you get older, you can't wear heels. And so platform shoes will help if you can wear the platform sneakers or platform boots. Because I think Almost every one of them are at least in a 34 inch length and um, you would have to have them hemmed or maybe even by petite if you can find them in petite to keep them from being so long and dragging the ground. Now let's talk trendy jeans. These are the jeans that are going to be hot for a moment and out probably before long and skinny jeans is top of that list. Now I'm not getting rid of my skinny jeans. I got rid of some of my skinny jeans, ones I like ones I really like, I kept, mainly because I do wear them with boots in the winter. So I did keep some skinny jeans. Distressed jeans. Now, distressed jeans are some that I love. I do love distressed jeans, but I have found that I'm going more and more and more toward less huge holes, just more like a little distressing on the material. Um, I'll show you some photos of all these, these styles. Or, uh, cropped wide leg jeans. Now these are a little harder for most people to style. They sometimes they the gaucho style pants. It's not my favorite look. So that's one I kind of have. You don't have to do all these. That's one I have not done. High waisted jeans with a flared leg. Now I love this. They're calling them trendy. I call them classic. So I don't know. We'll see about that one. And then baggy jeans with a relaxed fit. Same thing as a boyfriend fit. Isn't that the kind of the same thing? Unless they're calling a really loose fit. I know some of the jeans that are coming on now are puddle jeans. Uh, you have balloon leg jeans. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff. Now, the thing about it with trendy is they tend to be more fashion forward, more attention grabbing. So they do make a bold statement. We do want to have one or two pair at least of trendy jeans to keep you from looking, you know, dated, but you don't want to go overboard. You don't want to have all trendy, all trendy. You do want to have both. So don't worry about the flash fashion police coming to get you. If you're still loving your skinny jeans, you just may not be on the cover of Vogue, but odds are I was never going to be on the cover of Vogue anyway. So... If I want to wear my skinny jeans, I do. So let's think. Uh, low rise jeans. The low rise jeans are one that will mostly make you have the muffin top. So um, I've noticed that they're kind of going back low again. I don't know how low they'll go, the rise, but a medium rise I prefer over the super high waist because they hit me in my ribs and I'm not really that comfortable. I like them to hit right around my belly button, a little higher maybe or whatever. And as I said, I am kind of putting the, um, the distressed jeans. I'm not doing the holy holies. I like a distressed hem. I like a little bit of distressed material. 
and I don't mind if it has small holes, just not huge holes. Ah, uh, let's see if there's anything else I need to talk about. So, when it when it comes to jeans, I was just looking about price points. So I know if I'm going to buy a classic pair of jeans that I can wear a long time, those are the jeans to splurge on. And if it is a trendy pair of jeans, one that may or may not be in style in a couple of years, then, you know, purchase them probably from um, Old Navy. They have great jeans like that. Uh, Walmart, Target, Amazon, Kohl's. Some of these have jeans that you can buy all day long for under $50. You don't have to spend $150 to $200 on a pair of jeans. But if you have a pair that you absolutely love, they fit you like a dream, and you can wear them for years and years and years, go for it. Get a good pair of jeans that make you feel good because after all, that's the whole idea of it is you want to feel stylish, you want to feel comfortable, you want to feel age appropriate, and if you have a wonderful fitting pair of jeans, then that's going to help you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this post and I hope to have a post for you about exercising um, or working or walking, walking, working out, whatever, as we age and ways to stay fit maybe in the upcoming months. All right, ladies, see you later.